everyone, my name is Gabby with Spoken Gospel. For the last 1600 years, Christians around the world remember the last days of Jesus' life during Holy Week. Today is Holy Tuesday. Holy Tuesday remembers the day Jesus curses a fig tree and it withers down to the root. Israel priests and the temple were God's intended plan to extend His love and blessing to all nations. But the priests of Jesus' day made it extremely difficult for foreigners to worship God. The Bible often calls leaders like these deceased trees. From a distance, they look healthy, but up close, they're rotten and infernal. So the next morning, when Jesus sees a fig tree with no fruit on it, he curses it and it withers. It's a symbol that the current system of leadership of Israel's temple has forgotten its purpose and must be destroyed. The disciples miss this symbolism and only ask how the fig tree withers so quickly. Jesus replies with today's verse. Matthew 21, 21 says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. But Jesus is not explaining how the disciples can go and curse their own fig tree. He's explaining that when the disciples pray in faith, the mountain that the temple is built on will crumble. Jesus has come to cleanse the temple of its dead religion, and Jesus expects his disciples to share that responsibility through prayer. Holy Tuesday is good news because Jesus announces the end of a corrupt religious order and the dawning of a new global people of God. He also invites you to join Him in both cursing dead religion and creating a new and indestructible church through prayer. When we ask God in faith to tear down dead religion, He will. And when we ask God to build in its place a global church that cannot be destroyed, He will do that too. So I pray that on this Holy Tuesday, you will accept that by faith. We can join Jesus in tearing down corrupt religious systems and building a church that...